Hi everybody! Welcome to Feast Bowl Series Episode 11. And we're playing a game that is based on the 2003 film. And we're going under sea to the coral reef. This character wants to be an explorer just like his father. After he saved him from the undersea highway. So, this is Finding Nemo. Nemo's Ocean Discoveries. Because I love Nemo because he's a special clownfish just like Marlin. So, in this game we're going to have lots of fun with by exploring over the reef the EAC, East Australian Current, and we're looking into a submarine and also on the sea highway to find colours. So, off we go with I learning adventure. Play. Here's how it happened where Nemo's exploring. We're starting off with an easy level to begin Nemo's with. Dad Marlin is the bravest dad ever. He crossed the entire ocean to find his son. Now, Nemo wants to go on an ocean adventure too. Hooray! I want to go on an adventure just like my dad! Ah, learning about the wonders of the ocean. Well, hello, explorers! I'm aboard! Collect these bubbles, and I'll help you learn some fun ocean facts. Next stop, knowledge! <laughs> Hooray! Let's go have an adventure! Reef exploration! So we're starting off with reef exploration, and the learning curriculum is sea animals. And there's common animals with fewer obstacles. Find as many question marks as you can. Press enter to dash and burst the bubble. Collect the Explorer logbook stars to learn some fun facts for Mr. Ray. Right, off we go. So this animal is a snake-like fish with a slender, elongated body and poorly developed fingers. Proverbial for its slipperiness, used in names of unrelated fishes that resemble. Have you guessed who it is? This shapes like a worm, and it reminds me of lots of Jetson from Little Mermaid. It's an eel. Look at an eel. There are all kinds of different eels European eels and electric eels, which are very harmful and dangerous, those electric eels. Please do not touch them, otherwise you'll be hurt. Ooh. This animal is help bound to know and is a very kind animal that rescue um, humans from danger. And they are very intelligent and smart. Hang on, let me look it up. I'll look up on my phone. Right. Dolphins. Well, sorry if I reveal the clue. So there are extraordinary intelligent animals who also display culture, something which was long believed to be unique to humans. There are altruistic animals. They are known to stay and help who injured individuals, even helping them to the surface to breathe. Have you guessed who it is? It's the dolphin. Good old dolphin. Because dolphins are very kind creatures. Therefore, they're rescuing humans from danger. Very impressive, those dolphins. They don't hurt you at all. They live in the deep blue sea as well. Impressive. We've got two items for the Explorer Lockbook. So now, off we go again exploring. Right. Ooh. I want this animal. It looks a bit similar to Squirt, one of a crush's son. This one comes from the egg by coming out of the sand. And is a father of Squirt. Have you guessed what it is? It's a baby sea turtle. We need to be careful around the sea baby sea turtles. They have barnacles on them. So, we have to not touch the baby sea turtles. Something about Tuna. scrambling over the sand seems to be important as well. <sighs> dear, dear. No. Let's... So, we found the fourth animal, Tuna. Tuna is a saltwater fish that belongs the, to the tribe Tuhunini, a subgrouping of the Scrobridae family. Isn't that interesting about Tuna? Don't forget, you can eat tuna as well. 
Tudors are very good, of course. Especially I like Tudor with my Tudor sandwich or just Tudor with jacket potato. Ooh, what's this? This is where it kept the pearl in the mouth. This is a Cecil animal. A mollusk has commonly found clinging onto shipwrecks, debris, and harbor walls around the world. There are bivalve um, uh, mollusks, meaning that they are closely related to other animals such as scallops, clams, and mussels. Can you guess who it is and who it will be? It's an oyster. A good looking oyster, I'll say. We need to be careful around falling rocks that come from the for the walls. If you got hit more obstacles, your health bar will be empty and you'll get a game over. Impressive. So I love the coral reef, I'll say. It looks amazing and colourful. The best animal I like is clownfishes. Clownfishes are very good at hiding. Ooh. What is it? So this is this animal can sting you and it's shaped like an umbrella. It's a jellyfish. A jellyfish and sea jellies are informal common names given to the Medusa face of certain glenatiness members of the subphylum Medusa Sola so Medusa So a major part of the phylum Citraria. Jellyfish are mainly of free swimming marine animals with umbrella, umbrella shaped mouths and trailing tentacles. All of our few are not mobile. Being anchored to the seabed by storks, which is very interesting. Hmm. This animal is something that you can eat with. Press enter to dash and burst the bubble. This animal is a Press fish type. This animal reminds me of a shrimp then, but I can't remember who it is. The term shrimp is used to reverse some decapod crustaceans. This is similar to lobsters. Although they accept animals, can vary. Using of broadly, shrimp may cover any of the groups with un elongated bodies just like eels and a primary swimming mode of locomotion and most commonly Corgia and Dendrobacheata. Well, that's a very funny word and that is a difficult word to say. It's very hard, you know. And we, it's very hard that somebody knows what it is. This animal is, um, look, look likely, unlikely, um, a thing, like, where you could put, um, well, use as food or something. And this is a common name for several kinds of bivalve mollusks. A, a word is often applied only to those that are edible and live as a fauna, spending most of their lives halfway buried in the sand of the seafloor. They have two shells of equal size, connected by two abductor muscles, and have a powerful burrowing foot. Have you guessed who it is? It's a clam. A clam. I think it's very good creatures that live in the sea, and it's good for eating as well. Oh, what dash animal is that? An animal that um, squirts Press egg, and it even reminds me of Squidward, who lives in the Moai of next to SpongeBob and Patrick's house. That is called a squid. A good-looking squid, I'll say. S squids. I can hide predators by using eggs. Have a look at this animal. This animal, I'll say, is a, a common name used for members of several families of bivalve mollusks. This is similar to oyster, I think, and clam. From saltwater and freshwater habitats, these groups have in common a shell whose outline is, uh, is elongated, just like eels, like I say, and I as asymmetrical compared with our other edible clams, uh, which are often more or less rounded or oval. Have you guessed who? That's called a mussel. Yeah. Mussels can be used as food as well. It's just very interesting, I'll say. So, reef exploration is completed. 
the maximum score is 110. So, let me take a look at the Explorer Logbook. I'll tell you what it is. The Explorer Logbook is a fun way to learn interesting facts about sea life. When you see the ELB stars during their learning adventure, collect them to add a new fact to your Explorer Logbook. When you reach the end of the adventure path, you will be able to view the facts that you have collected. You can also view all of the facts by selecting the Explorer Logbook in the Learning Adventure menu. To hear another f interesting fact, as it see its picture, use your joystick to choose a star icon and press Enter. The facts you have collected will have colored pictures and the ones you have not collected will have a black and white pictures. See the colored pictures which collect the star icons in the learning adventure. There are nine facts in each adventure path for a total of 36 in the entire game. So let's take a look at the first ocean facts from Reef Exploration. So about a starfish. Did you know that a starfish moves on thousands of tiny tube feet? Goodness me, that is a lot of feet that starfishes have. Right, turtles. Barnacles attached to rocks, and even animals like turtles. They are very dangerous, those barnacles, so be careful around them. <laughs> a fact about a scallop. A scallop moves by clapping the two sides of its shell together. Very impressive indeed. And another fact about a starfish. Did you know that some starfish eat coral? Hmm, very interesting of how starfish eat coral to keep it healthy. So, crabs, what about them? Some crabs decorate themselves with plants and small animals to hide from predators. That is very safe, and that's very good health and safety rules for crabs. We need to be careful around crabs. Crabs are in rock pools, and, and crabs can pinch you with pincers. Goodness me, that, I think that is a camouflage of an octopus. Not invisible, but changing colors and skin. A squid bat. Threatened by a predator, the squid squirts ink to hide its escape. That's what I told the viewers about it, Mr. Ray. The, the gamers, I meant. That's in brief exploration, that is. Look at this. Did you it's know a manatee. A manatee is also called a sea cow. Very interesting. That's a fun fact, that is. A fun fact about a fish. The smallest fish in the world is the stout infant fish. It's about the size of your fingernail. Wow, that is very good. The stout infant fish is smaller than anyone. It's the smallest fish around here. So Look, now it's time for the, the, the mini game one. Game 2, right Moonfish Agility Training. We need to sharpen the swimming skills with Nemo and its observation and timing. Fish the swim more quick, fish swim more slowly in a simpler pattern. So let's watch out and keep your timekeeping and observation. Right, off we go. We did it! So the maximum score is 30 in Moonfish Agility Training. Moonfishes are very good creatures, I'll say. Yeah! I think they're from the Pacific or Atlantic Ocean, which I have never heard about. They are very similar to that. So that's 20. Next round coming right up. Wow, perfect! 25 points! What's next? Um, um, keep it. Perfect! 30 points! So that means mini game one, game two is completed. That was some great easy observation and timing so skills. And that's very good ice uh, looking. A good eyesight, of course. So, in the next part, we're going to the East Australian Current, where Nemo is learning shapes. So, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, comment and like, hope you enjoy reef exploration and fun facts about each sea animal, and explore long book information, and I'll see you again later on the next part. Bye!